going on everybody welcome back to another lego youtube video as you all know i got a lot of uh new star wars sets for my lego may the fourth haul and i kind of had to reorganize some things in a lego collection and being completely honest the more i kind of look at the display decisions that i made with the new sets that i picked up for may the fourth i feel like i don't really like where i put a lot of the stuff that i did so i think today we are just going to be reorganizing a bunch of the lego star wars section to hopefully make the new sets that I got kind of stick out a bit better than they were and also just have some existing sets look better with the newer stuff too. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it. I know a few things I want to reorganize definitely include the new sets, but also a few other things too that I haven't really been 100% happy with. Like one thing I kind of wanted to move out of the collection was the police station as it's kind of just thrown in here with the other Star Wars sets and I wanted to see if I could put Star Wars sets up here. So this is empty now. And then another shelf that I thought looked cool but the more I look at it I don't really like it too much is the Jabba's Palace one and then also just every other cell, uh, set on the shelves of the lower kind of half of this bookshelf didn't really look that good so we went ahead and cleared off everything over there and so here is everything that I'm going to reorganize so far so we've got quite the uh, collection here to kind of uh, find better spots for in the Lego collection and then I also wanted to kind of clear off this shelf too just to kind of be able to move this up. Uh, uh, Grogu and Mandalorian display a shelf up because I feel like that was a really good display and I kind of just threw it away and so I like this better. Also we moved the Kylo Ren heads and the Boba Fett's microfighter next to the Boba Fett palace that I had down here before and I think that looked really cool and was a really nice choice and I'm happy that I was kind of able to like resurrect this like Mandalorian display that I was really happy with so I'm glad this is back and we were able to fit a few more sets in there and then I also moved back the Millennium Falcon microfighter next to the big Millennium Falcon and another uh, kind of like design choice I was considering was actually clearing off this bottom shelf where the ATAT -AT is and I kind of wanted to elevate the ATAT -AT a bit because I don't really like it being so close to the floor so here we've kind of reorganized this shelf a little bit and I think I'll have to kind of like modify the height of the ATAT -AT to hopefully make it fit here so I'm gonna try my best to kind of make it fit and that's uh, kind of like shelf without like making it unsturdy and unfortunately I feel like it's not going to fit too much so I'm probably just gonna have to get rid of this shelf right here and so here is the final kind of layout that I decided to go with and I'm actually really happy with this. I think this looks a whole lot better. I decided to scrap the kind of minifigure display stand that came with the UCS Millennium Falcon stand that I ordered last year and I really liked doing that. I was able to kind of better fit the minifigures over here and the display plaque pops and it's like right next to the Falcon and not just beneath it which I thought looked really cool and then I really like having the ATAT -AT kind of elevated a bit more especially when it's like next to its display plaque too. I just think it looks a lot more impressive when it's higher up. I can see it more and it's also closer with the other UCS sets, which I think makes it look a whole lot better. And I'm really happy with everything on the shelf with the ATSD kind of in the background over there and the uh, snow speeder over here too, and the minifigures that I displayed on here. So I think this shelf really came together a lot better than it was, even though it's like really similar. And then below it, we've kind of got some changes here where I've got some other Hoff sets like the Wampa Cave, the Tauntaun, and the Snowtrooper Battle Pack, and some of the speeders from the UCS AT-18 and just like other side builds. I also decided to throw in the holiday diorama kind of in the background too because I don't really have a space for that and what's good about this display is it freed up a shelf again which is always good so I can fit more lego sets there and so what I really want to do is kind of change up this bottom shelf over here and I thought it'd be cool to have more Hoff sets down here that way it kind of blends in better with the ECS ATAT -AT display so here's the first design choice that I went with we have the ATAT -AT for the 40th anniversary of Empire and then we've also got the probe droid next to it and a few other side builds and I think that looks really cool because it's like really close to the UCS AT, AT and the other Hoff sets so I was really happy with that and one thing I also decided to do was like a lower the shelf above it just to kind of give me more space to put the new shelf that I was talking about earlier down here and then I also moved Jabba's Palace back here and I decided to go for a new display over here and I put some of the Tatooine sets that I didn't have space for on it and I thought that was cool and then we've also got the Dagobah diorama and the Kenobi duel on the same shelf now because they're from like relatively similar time periods and they're both dual sets or not really dual sets but like diorama themed sets and this allowed me to make space for the Sith Infiltrator that I've got on back order, which was pretty cool. And I was thinking I was going to put some Death Star stats up there, but it didn't really look too good. So I just decided to go with what I used to have with the Death Star gift of purchase and the two dioramas. And I thought that looked pretty cool. And I also decided to move the Imperial Dropship back down to this kind of like Hoth shelf over here. And since I don't really have any Star Wars sets to put up here anymore, I just moved the police station back because why have it in the closet if I have a space for it, even if it doesn't really fit in too well. But I'm happy with that design choice. And I think 
everything over here looks a lot better now. I'm really, really happy with everything that I did. I feel like the first display that I went with last week just kind of felt, I wouldn't really say rushed, but it just, everything was kind of just thrown together with not a lot of thought put into it. And I'm really happy with what we have now. We were able to kind of salvage some of the old parts of the display that I really like, and also add some new sets here and there too, which I thought was really cool. And again, I feel like finding that perfect spot for the UCS ATAT -AT was really satisfying. And I love having it closer to the other UCS sets and kind of more on a podium, if you will. And another set I have to reorganize is the Juridica. This really feels like it was thrown together and it's too cramped. So what I'm actually going to do is unscrew the shelf over here. And I actually have a whole other layer that I can add to this that I wasn't really using. So I decided let's just go ahead and try and do that. I haven't done this in forever though. So hence why I'm struggling so hard to like put these things on here. But hey, here we go. Um, several <laughs> minutes later, we've got the uh, newer and improved shelf over here. And it looks a bit tight with the Droidica at the very top, but I'm still pretty happy with it. And everything is a bit more spaced out. So each set kind of has its own little spotlight. I was able to keep the skeleton skull at the bottom too, which I thought was nice. So that's still able to be on display. And I'm really happy with that. I'm really, really happy with that. I think we made all of the necessary changes to the Star Wars collection. We've got space for all of the sets that we're going to add, which is great, and we were able to free up a lot of needed space and properly make space for the diorama I got earlier for May 4th, because I never really had space for that, and that kind of made a bunch of the other kind of sets not really fit where they were supposed to. So I'm really proud of the progress we made in this video. I also have space for like future Star Wars sets, even though I probably won't be getting any anytime soon, but still cool to have that space regardless. So I'm really happy with how everything came together. I think everything just makes sense now. The like sets are with the other sets that look similar to them. Everything kind of fits. Nothing looks too crowded or cramped or just thrown together. I'm really happy with the decision I made with the Millennium Falcon display. That felt like an obvious decision, but I just now kind of realized it, which is funny. But like, I love how the micro fighters right next to the plaque and the minifigures kind of sit right underneath the Falcon. I just think it looks really good and it utilizes the space a lot better because that one shelf was kind of useless that I had the plaque on and then I really like being, bringing back the Mandalorian display shelf too and also just being able to fit the brick heads and the micro fighter felt like an obvious choice but I just didn't do it and so I'm happy I did decide to finally bring that out and then of course the droid shelf that also kind of doubles as a nightstand too looks really cool as well so definitely let me know what you thought of the display changes that we made in this video I for one I'm very happy with them but let me know what you guys thought down in the comments be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy the video subscribe if you are new around here but that is all for today peace out see y'all in the next one